I have Sister Yolanda Westfield, and she's opening her Facebook. We have something great for our community here. And Sister Yolanda is, um, come on here, Sister Yolanda, because we're both trying to get on each other's Facebook, which we should have tied. But anyhow, she is um, a Clevelander. She's a Clevelander. Okay, we're trying to get this Facebook video going. This, um, come on here, Sister Landa, because we're both trying to get I'm on trying to Facebook, which we should share. Tied. Okay, we'll share hers. We'll share. Okay. Um, okay, we have a situation. Uh, we will tie. Okay, what it says here, Sister Landa, come over here, baby. Okay. Okay, this is Sister Yolanda Westfield. And Sister Yolanda was born and raised here in Cleveland, Tennessee. She's from a very large family, beautiful family. And she's a minister, she, all in her own rights. You're a member of the... Tell them what church you attend. And like I said, she just had a daughter graduate from high school. She's young and she's a widow. And she has a great story, but the Lord has led her through this ministry to, for such a time as this is the kingdom of God. I have so much um, to say about her, but I want her to talk to you and let, you, let her bring to you what God is saying to her. Go ahead, Sister Yolanda. Okay. Well, thank you, first of all, Sister Norma, for allowing me this opportunity to come on and share yes. with you. Thank you for um, the time and uh, that you've invested in my life all through the years. When I came back to Cleveland, yes. you were one of the first faces I saw. Thank you. Uh, so when I had my son, you were one of the first faces I saw. Amen. We both praise. <laughs> so you have been there consistently mm -hmm. and genuinely through every stage. Well, from I give God the praise. Growing up to now. So and and yeah, I, I think you was in God. high school when I came to Cleveland. I think I was. Yes. Maybe even junior yeah, high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Junior <laughs> yeah. high because the Wildwood yeah. Avenue Church called yes. a pharmacy. Her family, um, her mother and her parents, they were like I said, we could go on and on, but she is gonna she talk, is. drop in mm -hmm. between, drop little things and like you know, you was what grade do you teach? She's a teacher. Well, I was teaching first grade this year, and uh -huh. in the fall, I'll be transitioning to fourth grade. Oh, my God. See, <laughs> so she's the Lord is blessing her promotion. <laughs> amen, amen. And she just had a daughter, graduated from high yes. school, made mm -hmm. honor rolls. And the cadet. it's so much God has been blessing. But she, like I said, OCI, your pastor. Uh, dwell in place church. Dwell in place church yes. and, and, and beautiful congregation, Sister yes. Judy and her, the Turtle family. God has been so good to her and bless her mm -hmm. in the midst of whatever she is. She has some, yes. some trials and times, but she will talk about that as she come back maybe next time because she's yes. going to talk about the necessity of prayer. Yes. So you need to tag someone and let them know what God is saying. Yes. Yes, so, and that's what we're going to talk about, um, as Sister Norma said, the necessity of prayer. Yes. Um, prayer is so vital Amen. in everything that we do because pr prayer just kind of transitions us. Yes, it does. And it speaks, and it, it, for lack of a better term, it regurgitates the word. Okay. You know, it, it brings back forth the word that God has spoken. Okay. Amen. And we pray in mm -hmm. alignment to his word. And prayer, like I said, it bridges us through our transitions. Okay. And if we don't have prayer, we're literally lost. It's true. It's we're, true. We're lost because, like you said, there are hard days. There are dark days. Yes. There are light days. There are happy days. But every one of them need direction. Amen. And Amen. Without Amen. direction. That's right. And understanding of what's happening, we get lost and we get confused. And then our words become tainted mm -hmm. with wrong desires and wrong assignments because yes. our words are assignments. What That's we right. say, the Bible says what we say, we can speak to the mountain and mm -hmm. the mountain obeys the assignment that we give it. Yes. And if we speak complaining and we speak griping and we speak unthankfulness, that strengthens that mountain and gives it roots. But when, right. we, when we speak what God says about Positive that man, yes. mountain, mm -hmm. it has to respond because in everything Jesus. in creation mm. responds to the word of That's God. That's right. That's right. You know, when God made things, he said it was good. That's right. But his good was not our good. All right. Because our good is very subjective. Our mm -hmm. good is 
based on what we deem as good and not good. Okay. okay. And we may say, because I may think okra is good. Yes. You may think okra is not good. <laughs> you know, And that's strictly an opinion. And sometimes we get lost in that and think that God thinks like we think. Yeah. But when God deemed something good, mm -hmm. it came with the assignment to operate in the dominion okay. that he Hallelujah. prepared it yes. for. Amen. So when yes. he made man mm -hmm. and he called man good, good, it wasn't good because I say you're good or you uh -huh, say I'm uh -huh. good. He called us good, good because he gave us the assignment to operate in dominion, dominion. and Hallelujah. authority That's it. Dominion. and in partnership yes. with him. Yes. So next time God says you're good and somebody says you're not, you say, oh no, God desires me to, to operate in the dominion that he has called he has me called in. He has called me. Amen. Very and good. When he, Very when he good. Well set done. us in the Bible, he said, be fruitful be and multiply. multiply. That means replenish. That means reproduce, reproduce. yourself. Mm -hmm. Reproduce Hallelujah. who I've called you to reproduce. Right. Reproduce the good. Mm -hmm. Reproduce the, the good. dominion. Amen. Reproduce the destiny Amen. I've called you mm -hmm. into. It wasn't good or bad or walk in a straight line or mm -hmm. don't break the rules or all of that because when we walk in alignment with God, we won't even worry about focusing on what was that good, was that not. Yes. Our focus will be on did I walk in what God I called call me, me to, to walk in Amen. day by day. Mm. And the rest of that stuff will take care of itself. Yes. Because yes. he even said in his word, goodness and mercy follows us and he leads us in the path. Yes, he does. And if we don't get instruction then we won't know where we're going. We're mm -hmm. aimlessly wandering. Mm -hmm. And aimlessly wandering has no agenda, no goal, no path, no plan. So they don't know where they're going, don't know what they're doing, and yes. eventually they die. They don't even know to look for food. My Lord, you know, help when us animals Lord. aimlessly wander, they're just wandering, mm -hmm. just just walking, waiting to die. Jesus, you know, so help us Lord, help um, us Lord. it is important that we go to God in mm -hmm. prayer That's right. and get the direction. So get we're not direction. aimlessly mm -hmm. wandering and we're not mm -hmm. walking in a destiny that is not designed for us because just as sure as God has the destiny for us, Satan has a That's destiny. That's right. You, you know, be careful. yes. And be some careful. things that look good aren't good That's right. and they may play to our agenda and they may play to our plan and our wishes that we mm -hmm. think oh this sounds like a good thing and it may not be may something not be. that's not a bad thing but it may, it may not, not be, be the destiny, destiny that God, God has Hallelujah. called for us right so board. um mm -hmm. we're going to talk about that and Luke 18 1 mm -hmm. tells us it says, and he spake a parable unto them to this end, mm -hmm. that men ought always to pray yes. and not faint. Mm -hmm. And to faint is to give up, to lose hope, to mm -hmm. lose desire, to mm -hmm. even lose faith in the words we say. Yes. So when we pray and we pray God's words, we rest on that word that if God said it, he will yes, produce he will. it and I it say, will God come to it. provision. Mm -hmm. So, and I've, I've set kind of eight points here mm -hmm. that talks about um, what prayer does for All us. All right, okay. Um, okay. The, the first thing it does, it it aligns us mm -hmm. to God's will. Yeah, to God's you know, will. Because mm -hmm. we go in with our plan. Like I said, we go in with our agenda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and I know in school we ask the kids, what do you want to be when you grow up? Mm -hmm. And we tell all... <laughs> All of these things, because mm -hmm, that's what mm -hmm. we do. We have wide imaginations, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. we have big plans, yes. and we have big dreams, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we have big dreams, yes. and we just get there. But that's then true. God says, you know what? I need you yes. for this. That's right. I need you for something else, and we've got to be willing to let go of that. Let go of it. And that came with mm -hmm. my transition yes. even this year. You know, right, because amen. I was teaching kindergarten. Yes, all <laughs> right. The first Ooh, week to the week before school started, really? and got noticed that hey, you're you're gonna make a change. Yes, amen. And I Praise did not Lord. like that. <laughs> <laughs> How long were I, you in that position? I was in kindergarten for eight years. Oh my God, you was too comfortable. So I was very <laughs> attached <laughs> to my grade and to my babies. Oh Lord. And um, you know, and I went and I cried and I cried. <laughs> And I was like, God, this isn't fair. God, this isn't fair. Yeah. And um, after a few months, I finally had to say, you know what, God? Yes. Whatever you want. That's because right. it's not about me. That's it. Not it's about us. It's all about you. And mm -hmm. it may not have been what I chose. Yes. 
But you had a plan and you yes. had a Hallelujah. transition. Praise the and Lord you for promotion. Had to, yes. <laughs> Amen. More money too. <laughs> and, and I, you know, because sometimes when we get stuck, we don't yes. look to God yes. because it becomes routine. Mm-hmm. You know, it becomes what we do mindlessly. We mm-hmm. don't put any thought. We go, oh, I've done this before. I know how to do this. And we just go through the motions. And Uh sometimes when God wants to move us to another level, Mm -hmm. we have to get uncomfortable. Yes, we do. And he uproots us and um, it aligns us to God's will. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking Matthew 26, verse 39. Mm -hmm. We're talking about how um, Jesus... Mm-hmm. He knew now from the foundations of the earth, mm-hmm. God had already brought him in That's right. as the lamb that was slain for the redemption of man. Mm-hmm. So everything before even God even began to set things in motion, he had already saved That's it. Right. He That's had already right. redeemed it mm-hmm. for him. And mm-hmm. even though Jesus knew this, his flesh was crying out and he mm-hmm. was falling to his face. And he was he was saying in Matthew 26, Verse 39, it says, and he wept and he being Jesus mm. went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed saying, oh, my father, oh my God. if Hallelujah, it be possible, Jesus. let this cup pass mm. from me. So then true? he said, nevertheless, mm-hmm. nevertheless, nevertheless is, is a, an important conjunction because it connects two clauses together. And he yes. says, God, I'm going to be honest with you and tell you this is my will, but. That's My right. will fails in comparison to your will That's right. because your divine destiny mm-hmm. and plan mm-hmm. has already been established Hallelujah. through the foundation of the earth. That's right. Hallelujah in the name and of Jesus. When I Ooh, embrace glory. your destiny mm-hmm. and your salvation, mm-hmm. then you've already worked everything That's out. That's right. That's it's right. already finished. I've just got to walk mm-hmm. through the process. So he says, not as I will but as you will. Mm -hmm. So it aligns us to God's will. And he went on to pray this three times. Mm -hmm. So prayer is not a one-time thing to get his will. It is a consistent Mm -hmm. everyday thing that we must do because our flesh will rise up again and say, oh, that's going to hurt. That's going to be uncomfortable. You're going to have to go places you don't want to go. You're going to have to do things. things You're going to have to repent. You're going to have to tell that person you're sorry. You were wrong. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to tell that person you do not hold them at fault for the wrong they Mm cause. Those are hard things because pride wants to tell you, look, I got a right to tell you how I feel. That's why the Bible say, hey, the proud look on the proud ways. Yes, Mm -hmm. so so, um, praying is Mm. a necessity because it brought our Savior into God's will. It brought the fleshly part of him into subjection. So when it Mm -hmm. came into his will, Destiny could go forth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It could go for our salvation could come forth mm-hmm. because he aligned his will to God's will. And and, and my my Bible say he went a little further and he bowed with his yes. face to the ground. To the praying. ground. Now yes. Jesus, what you think about us? Yes. You better get on our faces yes. and get down on and our get knees. Get down on the knees. Ooh, glory, that's yes. deep. I never saw it like that. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And you know what the mm. ground is? Mm. When he spoke, he went into a dimension. Mm. How Man Jesus. was made mm. from the earth. That's right. So the mm. earth that God formed man from. Help us, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. His Jesus. will to the earth mm. that God took to create us. Mm-hmm. And in his submission to God's will, he redeemed us mm. before the cross. Ooh, because Jesus. he went before and he cross. laid his face Jesus, Jesus. on the dirt, the before very the thing yes. that God, that we mm. were we were made from mm. and redeemed, he us. redeemed us. So uh, submitting to God's will brings redemption, redemption. restoration mm. um, into our lives. Mm. Help us okay. And the, sex, the next thing I put down that prayer does mm-hmm. is it sets us on God's agenda God. for the day. That's it. Because right. we all get up with our own plan, our planners, <laughs> what we have <laughs> necessary Amen. for the day. Mm-hmm. But you know, God says, you know what? Come seek me first. Yes. yes. Seek, seek me first. first. That's right. You know, your plan, you know, I know you've got to go to work, mm-hmm. but you don't know what you're going to work to do. You think you're going to work to yes. do your mundane, yes. everyday duty That's and job, true. but you don't he know. He changes it. Yes. Even when you write it down sometimes. Yes. Holy Spirit, say you <laughs> going to do this today. He flips it right. on you. Mm-hmm. Because you never know who's coming never in. Never know. That is, that is needing and dependent on mm-hmm. your prayer. And Jesus. for you to have heard the Father. Because mm-hmm. sometimes when you 
hear the Father, mm -hmm. and you get the agenda, you bring another person into their That's destiny. It. That's true. Because That's God true. gives Amen. you the assignment. He's God assignment. It, yes, and it's he'll tell me. you mm -hmm. when I when you meet this person. Mm -hmm. All right, now, These go are ahead. the words she needs you That's to say right. so that she knows you've come from the Father. Yes. And she knows that God has heard her prayer. It may mm -hmm. be something as simple as, I like that blouse. Yes. It may be something as uh, complex as, God said he heard you praying Ooh, last night, and yeah. he wants you to know mm -hmm. all shall be well. Ooh, praise you know, the Lord. I mean, he Jesus. can tell you mm -hmm. anything, but if we don't get that download from the Father, That's it. Download. we That's miss That's the key it. word, download, download from the Father, from the girl. Father. Yes. <laughs> he been downloading a lot of stuff in me yes. recently. Yes, and Ooh, it's so Jesus. vital, and we've got to understand mm. that the downloads that he gives mm. us, it is for us. Yes. But, but it's also designed to expand his that's kingdom it, that's it. because everything goes back, back to, to him, right. goes back to him. So um, Psalm 63 verses 1 through 8 says, mm -hmm. Oh God, thou art my God early, mm -hmm. early, mm -hmm. early, early, <laughs> early will I seek thee, yes. my soul. Oh thirst God. for thee and my flesh longs for thee mm -hmm. in a dry and thirsty, thirsty land, land where no water is. Mm -hmm. And then it tells us why. Mm -hmm. To see the power and the glory Ooh. as we've seen in the sanctuary. And the mm -hmm. sanctuary is not the church. All right, go ahead now. These last 15 months we've understood <laughs> that the sanctuary <laughs> is not the church. Oh my God, help the, us Lord. The sanctuary <laughs> is the place and sanctuary sanctified. Them, it is a place that is set apart mm -hmm. where we meet and commune yes. with, with our Father. That's right. And we've gotten, I think, in a, in um, our society, mm -hmm. we've gotten so okay with mm. justifying, well, if I go to church, it's all as well. Mm -hmm. And we've gotten very lazy. Yes. And yes. We've, we've used that and we've laid down on our jobs. Mm -hmm. Now we've got a lot of ground to make up and a lot of all work right. to do. It's true. So it's true. when we get into our sanctuary with God and get the download and mm -hmm. the instruction, mm -hmm. he'll even tell us, don't go that way to work. That's it. Take another route. <laughs> don't go. You know what? And we get in and we get behind traffic and, and I've been guilty. God, I'm going to be late. <laughs> Why? And God, you know what? You just rest in me. Amen. And never know what's ahead of us mm. or what, what he prevented us from yes. because mm. we're, we're focused on us and we've not spent right. time mm. communing mm. with the Father. And he says, because his loving kindness is better mm. than life, mm. my lips shall praise thee. So yes. even in our sanctuary, we give praise, we Hallelujah. give revere, Hallelujah. we give honor to yes. God. Yes. And when we praise and revere honor mm. and bring it to God, we mm. just repeat to God who he is. Mm -hmm. Now, when, when my son comes and says, Mama, you're the best, mm -hmm. what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. I'm going to live up to that name. That's right. That's so it. So when I tell my father, Father, you are a good, good father. Yeah. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. He's going to live up to yes, that name. Yes, yes, yes. He's going to go, father. okay, you know who I am. <laughs> yes. So now I've got to perform. That's it. Because I keep my we word. Him. <laughs> yes. We tell God, you are the provider. His word. Yes. You are the sanctifier. Yes. Yes. His you, word will not return it void. It will not return void. Oh my God. But we go got to give him something to, to return. return. That's yes. it. We got to give him. We've got to write like the check <laughs> so he can cash it you know Ooh, because he mm -hmm. he does he he honors his word so yeah. we say i will bless you while i live mm -hmm. i will lift up my hands in your name mm -hmm. my soul will be satisfied as with marrow and fatness and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips yes when i remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches mm-hmm mm -hmm. So it's day and night that we're yes, speaking to God. So right. we can't say, oh, I forgot this morning. That's mm -hmm. a discipline thing. Yes. And I'm speaking to me too. Me too. That's mm -hmm. a discipline mm -hmm. thing. Discipline you know, yourself. sometimes we get comfortable in that mm -hmm. bed and we go, oh, God knows my heart. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. We just don't know it. We are deceived yes. because we think, well, God knows my heart. He knows I love him and he mm -hmm. knows I'm going <laughs> to pray to him. So I'm going to lay here until I get ready to get up. And God goes, I know your heart. That's it. 
and your heart is not fully with me, that you won't take time to discipline yourself right. to get up and commune mm -hmm. with me because I have things for you I said. that you only get in the morning Hallelujah. when it's just me with That's no it. distractions Amen. and no, no things to get you Still started because the minute mm -hmm. your feet hit the floor, your brain is already thinking what I've got to do mm -hmm. for the day. Your brain is already going, okay, now I got to do this, so-and-so got this. I know my uh, Kendra, you've got practice till three or four or five. Okay, I've got to get home to, you know, yes. and brain already going. So we, we've already put God <laughs> in the back burner, and we call him when that red light comes at the inopportune time. <laughs> so, so early in the morning yes. do we seek the Father. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the next thing that uh, the, necess the necessity of prayer does is it brings us into focus. Yes, it does. And it gets our minds set on him. Mm -hmm. And Romans 8 mm -hmm. and 6. Let me turn there. Mm -hmm. Didn't I tell you she's a woman of God? <laughs> faith, just like a mama, girl. <laughs> she ain't been in training. Okay. Romans 8 and 6 says, To be carnally minded is death, mm -hmm. but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Mm -hmm. Because, make sure I have, yes. Okay. Uh, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for mm -hmm. it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. Mm -hmm. So they that are in the flesh cannot please the flesh. That's right. So it, it brings us in the focus of who we're serving That's it. and what we're supposed to do. Because mm -hmm. sometimes we, we, we need that before we walk into our battleground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes it's easy to forget. <laughs> and if we haven't gotten there and we haven't said and I know I like to tell myself you know Yolanda this is your agenda this is what you're set here yes. to do make sure you focus on this this is this is the assignment don't deter from it and I have to tell myself that a lot yes it's easy to get distracted mm -hmm. but I have to say you know what Yolanda no 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 this is what it is yes that focus other thing mm -hmm. yes and when God says this is what I need you to do mm -hmm. Don't get distracted That's because it. there's going to be other things. Oh, that'll make it much better. That'll enhance it. That'll mm -hmm. do, God, no, just do what I told you to do. Amen. You know? Amen. So we go mm -hmm. there. And uh, number four, it allows you to commune with the Father. Mm -hmm. And um, as I said earlier, when God created man, He didn't create him just because He needed somebody mm -hmm. in the earth. He created man. To commune with him. Yes, he did. To be in partnership with him. That's he right. was he was the only thing that was created after the image and likeness of God. Mm -hmm. So that image and likeness means that what God has, we have. Yes. Amen. God has dominion. Mm -hmm. When he created us, he didn't put flesh and bone here. He put dominion. Yes. He put purpose. Yes. He put creativity. Mm -hmm. He put speaking. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. when we speak, I mean, even when Adam and Eve. What a mighty God we serve. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah in the name of Jesus. We, when, we, we got to be yes, creative yes, and Yes. And, and just That's make it. it so. Yes. Yes. So when mm -hmm. God created Adam and mm -hmm. he, when he gave Adam the assignment to be mm -hmm. fruitful and multiply, mm -hmm. Adam didn't go, well, what is that? Mm -hmm. Because Adam had communion, yes. and he communed with God. When mm -hmm. God said, be fruitful and multiply, mm -hmm. he knew exactly what that, that meant. meant. Mm -hmm. He knew that it didn't just mean have a bunch of children and say that's the fruit. <laughs> and that's what we, you know, that's what we that's use. What we thought it was, yes. but that's more than but that. There, there's Tell more than that. It Tell it to it be means. fruitful is to recreate and repurpose what God has already spoke. Amen. It Hallelujah. Means to repurpose yes. and re reuse that dominion. Yes. Reuse what He gave. That's why mm -hmm. Adam could go name the animals. It yes. wasn't because that looked like a rhinoceros. It was because he communed with the Father yes. and God and God. Adam Hallelujah. Revealed named to the animals. Mm -hmm. There was revelation. You're yes. right. Yes, yes, there was revelation mm -hmm. and there was truth mm -hmm. brought forth in yes. communion. Mm -hmm. So when we commune with Father and we have relationship with mm -hmm. him, he'll tell us, you yes. know what? Do, the, no, 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 no. He That's revealed. not even, he I revealed. Give us insight. Yes. About it. About that. Mm -hmm. People and everything. You yes. might think, oh, that's a good friend because they, they said hi to me. And God said, no, 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 mm -hmm. no, no. He will even <laughs> reveal, he will yes. reveal your enemies to you All right. yes, when you does. don't even understand who mm -hmm. your enemies are. They look that's like a it. friend. God will say, you know what? Let me tell you the secret thing. All right. 
And he only reveals that to us when we walk in relationship. That's it. Because those we have relationship with, we want to protect. Yes. Because we know details about them. We know mm -hmm. intricate things. We know intimate things. We mm -hmm. know things that other people may not know, mm -hmm. even to the point where, okay, go in here might trip you up. That's why we tell our children, don't do that. Yes. <laughs> nah, that person cannot be your friend. <laughs> nah, that, no, no, that's not even happening. Why? Not because we want to keep them bound mm -hmm. up because we already know. No. Amen. It's and true. with that relationship, if I didn't know my daughter, I'd be mm. like, well, go ahead. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll figure it out as we go. But no, I know what trips you up. Yes, yes. I know what Hallelujah. hangs you up. I know what gets you distracted. Yes. So I'm going to tell you no. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you and the Father does the Hallelujah. same thing. He he does. Says, Hallelujah. He Jesus. says, I know you. So mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, don't mm -hmm. do that. Yeah. Do that. Mm -hmm. Don't go that way. Uh uh no no don't even don't what even does say Jeremiah twenty nine eleven says he says for I know the I plans said, I have for I you said. I know them and don't let anything get That's you right. distracted I or said. tripped up mm -hmm. or. Um, messed up in your own thinking. That's it. So that's where communion and relationship oh, with our Jesus. Father thank you, brings Lord, us. And we word. get that through prayer. Mm. And then mm. another thing is mm -hmm. it empowers us to know Christ intimately. Yes. And to be intimate is to know everything. Yes, yes. Everything. Mm -hmm. It's a private thing. Yes, it it's is. a sacred thing. Mm -hmm. And in intimacy mm -hmm. is where covenant is established. Yes, yes. And covenant means what's yours is mine and what's mine is yours. That's mm -hmm. why we've got to be careful with who we make covenant that's with. That's it. Amen. And Amen. That's a whole nother That's a whole nother That's topic. a whole nother topic. Mm -hmm. She'll <laughs> talk about that next time she comes. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got to be careful yes. to be intimate with God because, Amen. you know, we set covenant with God. Mm -hmm. And all through the Bible, through the Old Testament, we see where covenant mm -hmm. is set. Mm -hmm. And that means, you know what, I am sworn by my word mm -hmm. because we now have covenant. Yes, That's where yes. the marriage covenant comes in and we, mm -hmm. we, we've got to teach the importance yes. of covenant in marriage. Uh, let me drop that while this is in my spirit. Because yes. see, a lot of people think we cannot have a intimate, mm -hmm. loving, caring relationship with God. And they mm -hmm. need to get into the word. Yes. Because that between our husband and our spouse is a different type of intimate with God. Yes. People use the word intimate only with husband and wife. Right. Or, but I want them to know. Yes. You can't have a loving, kind intimate loving relationship with god god bless you sister tate and all y'all on facebook i'm gonna um get y'all later but i just want to put that part in people yes. don't under that's why you got to get into the word yes. you got to spend time with him you have to meditate with him concentrate mm -hmm. commune with him yes. and be hungry after him have passion love yes. all of that come to build the intimate to build the intimacy okay. with god i just want to put that piece yes in. thank mm -hmm. you because that is where like I said, we, we know everything. Yes. We know everything. <laughs> God knows everything. Nothing is held back in our intimate time mm -hmm. with God. Even the things that we are insecure with. Even mm -hmm. things that we say, okay, God will may feel like this. But when we get into there, yes. the loving Father says, you know what? That's mm -hmm. not even how I feel. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's the flesh talking. Yes. So yes. let me show you by wrapping my loving arms around mm -hmm. you and showing you that I love you. Yes, he Because does. when we're All intimate, our only goal is to shower with love. Yes. And we give ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, it is a giving of ourselves. So when we're intimate with God, we give ourselves to him. But God gives himself to us that's right he sure and does. he showers us yes, and he, he says does. you know what and when he showers us it is favor mm -hmm. it is blessing thank it you, is Lord. outpouring it is Just open doors it mm -hmm. is closed doors it is promotion yes, it is access yes. it is all of that Ooh, just you, in an intimate relationship Tenship. with the father that's right Mm -hmm. And um, another thing it does is it moves the hand of God to mm -hmm. work intricately in our lives. I said it moves his hand. Hannah, I'm thinking of Hannah. Yes. When she went into the temple, she was without a child. Mm -hmm. In those days, it was a dishonor for a That's mother true. to That's not true. be able to birth children. Mm -hmm. That was a scar. That was. was a mark against her femininity, mm -hmm. her, her womanhood, who she yes, was. Yes. And she went in 
with the father. Mm. And it says she was taunted by the other women. Yes. But when she went in with the father, she didn't take the other women in no, with them. No. She went in and she um, spoke to God and prayed to God. And then she came out and it says she sat down to eat. Mm -hmm. She never said another word about it because mm -hmm. God intricately moved yes, he and did. opened up her womb. Ooh, and she said, and mm -mm, she birthed. Mm -mm. Yes. She, <laughs> she birthed. Not yeah. only did she birth the mm -hmm. son, mm -hmm. she birthed God's destination. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. She, she birthed Samuel. Ooh, God and who was well. Samuel? Mm -hmm. Samuel went into the temple. He was a priest. Yes, he was. He, he mm -hmm. was after God's heart. He mm -hmm. spoke the words. the words. So sometimes mm -hmm. even getting in with God, the things that we want to birth mm -hmm. or the things that we want to bring forth, Sometimes when we're intricate with God, he says, you know what? Let me take it a step further. Yes, he will. Let he me will. use what you've got not only to bless you, mm -hmm. but I'm going to break down walls. I'm going to break barriers you, down. I'm going to expand the kingdom. Mm. But if I give you what you want, mm -hmm. it's just going to be a mockery of what I could give yes. you if you spend time with Hallelujah. me. Hallelujah. So he works intricately with our lives. And mm -hmm. I have a scripture here, 1 Thessalonians mm -hmm. chapter 5. Um, verses 16 through 18. Mm -hmm. Let me go to this one right here. Oh, Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus, for your word. Ooh, how powerful. Okay. In the word of God. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Lord, okay. we thank you, Jesus. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. Yeah, okay. Thank so you, it says, Jesus. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything gives thanks, yes, for this is the, the will, will of God, God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So in everything we give thanks. You That's know, it, it may not look good to us, mm -hmm. but when we, when we uh, give God thanks, it says that um, God works things out that concerns us. Mm -hmm, and the word mm -hmm. says that the things that concerns us concerns the That's Father. Right, it does. And it moves his heart and his hand mm -hmm. for his children. Yes, yes. Yeah, so uh, praying into, uh, praying with God moves his hand in yes, our it life. Does. It, it does. shifts things. It turns mm -hmm. things. It, Hallelujah. It, it turns the tide. Mm -hmm. You know, we can get um, more intimate in uh, the deeper levels of God yes. in our lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And uh, the seventh thing that we do, that prayer does, is it sets us free from inordinate affairs or attachments to things that hinder us from freely giving all we have to God. Because oh, no. we hold on to things because they become our identity. Mm -hmm. They become everything that we say, oh, this is me. Well, I'm so-and-so, and, -so and mm -hmm. I'm such-and-such, and, -such and I'm this, and this is mine, and, this, and God says, mm -hmm. you know what, that has more... Um, room in your life than I do. Jesus. Help and us it's Lord. hindering you from your walk. Idols. Titles, yes. Mm -hmm. Our titles. Mm -hmm. Well I'm so and so and such and such. Well mm -hmm. That's not going to get you in heaven. That's no, not going to no. walk you in your mm -hmm, destiny. Mm -hmm. Is it a bad thing? It's not a bad thing, but it's misplaced. Yes. It's got a priority in a place where it shouldn't. It shouldn't. Okay. You know, and it's not working where God can use it because sometimes we get lost in a title. Yes. And that's mm -hmm. all we have is a title mm -hmm. and not very much influence. Help us, Lord Jesus. You know, and God says, if you give that to me. Hallelujah. And let me work it. Yes. Let God work it. Amen. I can Man. do a thing just like the little boy with the loaves and the yes. fish. Yes, yes. Now, what we don't understand when we see those loaves and fish, mm -hmm. we think it's a big fish. Mm -hmm. The fish was the size of a minnow. Mm -hmm. It was this big. <laughs> a minnow mm -hmm. and a little cracker. Jesus. Now, he could have held on Hallelujah. to that for his lunch, and it could have been all he had. Yes, it was. But when he released it <laughs> oh, and released God. it to what the a Father. mighty God we serve. Yes. Oh, my God. It fed a multitude. I didn't know the fish was that small. Yeah, the fish was that mm, small. Was, <laughs> it was a little minnow, the size of a minnow. Help us, so, Holy Ghost. And just think how God multiplied that minnow to feed mm, a multitude. And much left over. And much left over. Ooh, 12 baskets God, left God, over. God, WOPFM, yes. you are better. No, God can do some great things yes, in this community. Can. Yes, and yes. when we release, when we release our 
fears, mm-hmm. when we release our pride, yes. when we release our ideas, yes. and we, we start saying, Father, what do you want? What do you want? How do you want to do this? Yes. How do I partner with you That's it. to bring about your kingdom? Mm. God brings multiplication. Yes, God he does. brings he overflow. Thank God you, brings Jesus. it in, you know, and the things we say, oh, that person, mm. I could never reach that person because mm. they're locked in this mindset. God says, release it. That's it. Take your hands out of it because Forgive you're them. tainted it. Yes. yes. Release it, let it go, and watch mm-hmm. me do the work. I let because, go too. Yes. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Because if we, if, Ooh, glory. if we hold on to it, we still mm. have control. Yes. Mm. But when we say, Father, mm-hmm. my hands are out of That's it. That's it. You do it. And I was talking to my students yesterday, Mm -hmm. and we were um, equating it to a roller coaster ride. Mm -hmm. And because they like roller coasters. I don't, but (laughs) we were just using what they like. And we were talking about how when we get on the roller coaster, we're going up Mm -hmm. a hill. We're ascending in expectation for a thrill when we reach the peak. Jesus. And we were talking, and they were smiling, and they were just little first graders thinking, I'm going to get on a roller coaster in a few weeks. And I was like, <laughs> you know, so they were there, and I said, What happens when we get to the top? Mm-hmm. We let go. <laughs> we let go. Well, they let go. Yeah, they let go. <laughs> <laughs> they, and they did it automatically without me saying anything. They said, We put our hands up. And automatically a smile came on their face and their eyes lit up because Ew. they had already anticipated mm. the thrill of that ride mm. going down that hill. <laughs> you know, they were like, oh, the stomach comes up in our throat and the butterflies and yes, all that. Yes. But they understood yes. they could not fully enjoy the full thrill of that ride gripping that bar because they gripped the bar the whole body locks up true, in that's fear true. and they're like, oh, and their mind is focused on get this ride stopped. That's why I never really enjoyed enjoy the ride then. I yeah. used to hold on. <laughs> I'm not even getting on. <laughs> no, I did as a kid, but then oh, I was like, nah, Jesus. this is not oh, for me anymore. Mm. But you know, when we release, Good illustration. Yeah. when we release it, mm. we get the full Hallelujah. thrill. Praise him, Raven. And then we <laughs> don't hold on. <laughs> don't hold on. Praise release, let go, smile release and enjoy. It. Release it into the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Yes, and then we were talking about how even when we're going down Mm. and we're all in Mm. that moment, that moment is momentum to get us to the next peak. Yes, yes. And that moment takes us around, and as we're curving, Mm. the whole time we're smiling, and we're going yay and screaming, and we're happy Mm -hmm. because we have embraced the moment. We have embraced all of that. Holy Ghost, um, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. So we were equating that to how when we let go of things and yes. we enjoy the ride, even the parts that don't feel so good. That's true. Even the part when Jesus laid down his fleshly will mm-hmm. in the garden. Mm-hmm. And he said, you know what, Father, this is my flesh is saying this isn't what I chose. Mm-hmm. But your will overrides your will. what I That's want it. because you redeemed your people back mm-hmm. to yourself. And this is the Hallelujah. way you chose. Jesus, Jesus, and I submit. Jesus. And, you know, and we say, well, Jesus did it. Mm-hmm. Well, we can't go to the cross for other people. But when we lay down our wills, yes. we lay down our ideas of what mm-hmm. is right and That's wrong it. and That's our it. emotions. And lay we go to what God says lay and what God lay told us to do. Lay it down. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then he says, enjoy the ride. Enjoy it. Because when you get to heaven, you're going to see your quick. <laughs> Ooh, is hallelujah. full of the souls all because you laid it down. Oh my God. You know, all because all the souls. Yes, mm-hmm. all the souls that are gonna mm-hmm. go because you laid down your will and picked up the my. Father. Amen. Amen. And so Amen. we we Jesus, um Lord. we do that. So Beautiful. prayer takes those attachments from us. Mm -hmm. Prayer releases us to be what God does. And finally, prayer brings the glory of God Mm -hmm. to the earth. And the glory glory is, uh, we think, oh, the glory is the 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 lights mm-hmm. you know that's not what i've always thought mm-hmm. the glory was the glory mm-hmm. is the light but the glory is god's presence yes, yes. god's manifestation mm-hmm. god's 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 being yes you know who he mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. so when we go in and we bring the glory of god to mm-hmm. the earth like peter 
Mm -hmm. Peter walked in God's glory so mm -hmm. that his shadow mm -hmm. caused the sick to I be healed. I will be healed. like Peter. Yes. <laughs> oh, I mean, and, and he put a click in my <laughs> <laughs> And he walks up. And, um, That's right, Peter short hand. His shadow, because it was mm -hmm. a glory. It yes. wasn't anything about Peter. Mm -hmm. It was the shadow. The shadow. And it, it, it was uh, what mm -hmm. uh, was coming up on. And it, so the residue of God. Yes, yes. Even through the prayer. All the prayer. The prayer daily the prayer. Sacrifice. Pray with those seasons. Yes, Continuing. and the fasting and the laying down of yes, the will and yes. the, even the stoning and being run out of the mm. city and being star. All of that counted nothing mm. for the glory of God Hallelujah. to be revealed his through glory the earth. His so and that his there was no Ooh, yes, no denying. So mm. when we walk in God mm. and we walk in His glory, mm -hmm. we never have to prove His word. No, it proves itself. itself. That's it. It does what yes, it needs it to do. Mm. Like the, the lady with the issue of blood mm -hmm. um, that had bled out for 12 years mm -hmm. and could find no relief. Mm -hmm. When she went in, it said the Bible says she touched the hem mm -hmm. of his garment. Yes. But what it really means is she touched the glory yes. of Jesus. Ooh. It was so much that he felt the virtue leave yes. from him. His glory shifted. Mm -hmm. See, yes, he it said, did. Who touched me? Yes. And it wasn't, well, I need to find who touched me or mm -hmm. who this woman was. Yes. It was who pulled on my glory. Woo, Jesus. And she Woo. immediately, the Bible says she mm. dried up from that very mm. moment. That moment. So there, and he didn't have to go, well, my glory is this. Jesus never had to contest who mm. he was. The glory spoke for itself. itself. Hallelujah. And when we get into prayer with God, mm -hmm. we don't have to prove we're saved. No. We don't have to prove yes. we're a Christian. We don't have to prove who God called us to be. Amen. The glory will speak the glory will for speak. itself. It's shine up in the faces. And yes, it will. Yes, Amen. it will. Amen. Amen. Now, yes. beautiful, beautiful. I told you, I told you she has uh, an anointing of God. And I appreciate all of you um, on Facebook and who are going to see this later, Higgins and everyone. Debbie Moody and everyone, um, she's going to lead someone to Christ right now. Because like you know, she has the anointing of God in her life. And we have well, 10 more minutes. Just lead someone like you said. Mm -hmm. Everything you said, you know, it's it's related. I was jotting down some stuff. Mm -hmm. Say, not my will, but, you know, yes. the, 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 the words you said mm -hmm. and how we ought to reproduce. And that's yes. what you're doing now, reproducing. I'm reproducing. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we want someone to come to know Jesus. So just do yes. that right now there. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And um, I just speak to you. Um, who needs um, Jesus? Yes. Who needs the Savior into your mm -hmm. life? And he's not coming to judge you for mm -hmm. all that you've done. He knows it. It's already been judged Amen. at the cross. It's yes. already been redeemed at the cross. Hallelujah. He's just asking you to come join his family. Yes. He's not going to say, I'm going to clean you up. I'm going to straighten you up so mm -hmm. you can walk in my way. He's going to lead you. Hallelujah. The Bible says Jesus, he leads Jesus. us into all truth. Hallelujah. So he's going to lead you as you go. So you just come to him with an come open heart him. and you just say, you know what, Father? I release everything that yes. has ever blinded me. Mm -hmm. never hindered me mm -hmm. from fully following you. Hallelujah, and even Jesus. if you're a Christian and you've not fully followed Christ, I said, Lord, I sanctify myself. And the sanctified Amen. means I set myself apart for use of you in your kingdom. Yes, Jesus. So I just pray now for those who uh, need to accept the Father and mm -hmm. who need to rededicate or who need to realign the yes. life to the Father's will. And I say, Father, we come before you today before and we you, thank Lord. you for yes, your goodness Jesus. and your mercy. Hallelujah. We thank you for your loving kindness that is better than life. Hallelujah, we thank you for your Jesus. mercy. Hallelujah. We thank you for Jesus, Lord God, that you Hallelujah. sent you sent Jesus, him and, and completed Lord. the work Hallelujah, before Lord. you completed the earth. He mm. says it was done before the foundations oh, of the earth. Lord, so Lord, you had Lord, already Jesus. redeemed yes, us back Lord. to you. So, Father, I pray that those that are listening, that you would give them yes, eyes Jesus. to see, see. you mm -hmm. and ears to hear your voice when you say, come, mm -hmm. come, follow me, take up your cross and follow me. And Father, every sin that has mm -hmm. been committed, every shortcoming yes, Lord, that would be in looked the name at of Jesus, to in hold the us name back. Of Jesus. Father, we thank you that it's already been redeemed. Already been redeemed. And we partner with you in the kingdom. And we say that is null and void. Yes, and Jesus. we speak truth and life 
to the soul, Lord yes, God. We Lord. speak Jesus to the soul. We speak love, Hallelujah, Lord God. My God. And we thank my you God. for salvation. Thank you, and we thank you that your kingdom expands daily, yes, Lord. bringing people back to you and in right alignment with who you've created us to be. Yes, Lord. And we give you glory and we give you honor for all that you've done. All we thank glory. you for the salvations, Lord. We thank you for the renewed mm. heart and the renewed mind. We thank, thank you, you Jesus. for your love and we thank you for your presence in our lives. Mm. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you again, Sister Westfield. She's a minister with her own rights. And I just want you all to know that she was born and raised right here in Cleveland. Tennessee and a big family mm -hmm. and she's going to be back sometime mm -hmm. in about four weeks or so. She's one of those individual with other individuals God has um, put into my spirit to allow and anyone out there, if you feel God has a calling for you for this community to build up the revival, help our community, our generation, it's a lot. I can't say all of it in these few minutes, but it's a lot God is doing in our community. We have prayer warriors, intercessors, pastors, leaders, churches, going on and, and the revival tonight this is at um 995 benton pike healing i saw people got healed last night over there under the night tomorrow night 7 p.m and it's going on now they have they met this morning but that's already gone the pastor is pastor carlton he's on this ministry group that come in here we have different ones in our community praying seeking god different churches it's, it's, it's a kingdom work. We're working to get in unity, you know, even my local church. I give honor to my pastor, you know, Bishop Lipsy, Sister Lipsy. We pray every Monday night. Y'all can come up there, prayer. South Cleveland Church of God, Volunteer Drive. Okay, I want you to know God is blessing many revivals, many mm -hmm. prayer meetings. And she can tell you more about her church and what's going on. The schedule for tomorrow, like I said, they start 6, 6 p.m. tonight. I'm sorry, 6 p.m. tonight. And tomorrow night. Last night was 7 p.m. Then 11 o'clock in the morning, 995 Benton Pike. The speaker, I forgot, Clayton Collins. Oh, he's anointed. Mm -hmm. Ministers under the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit. He just came back from a foreign country. I forget the name. He said, yokes are broken and people are saved and healed by the power of God. If you or people you know need miracle healing, I'm telling you, I saw it. But six people got miracle last night. I was there. I witnessed it, you know. And health for you and heal for your wounds. Jeremiah 30 and, and 17. And then, like I said, on Wednesday night. No, this is Thursday. Thursday. Big thing mm -hmm. coming on in Cleveland. You all come down there to Cleveland. This is Cleveland Mid Middle School. Um, this is um, 3625. Okay, 3625 Georgetown Road. Miss Hutchison. She's from Florida. She's coming here. She's going to bring a fresh breath of air here in our community. All of this is part of ministry. She was, she's a Church of God of Prophecy International, Livia, 13 years. Her and her husband passed it in Chattanooga. She did a lot of work. So you all who she taught 13 years ago, she was a teacher here. Many of you all know Miss Hutchison. So come on down there. Y'all, some of y'all are grown now. Miss Hutchison will be here the 27th, Thursday. Mm -hmm. That's 5.30 to 7, and she's giving away some free stuff. So I'm just telling you, she's telling her story. That's what we tell our joining, a joining of some of the things she went through and her whole story, her book and everything. So I just want you to know. He's moving in Cleveland. He's moving, and we're going to give him the praise. I have a lot more, but it's not for me. It's for her to get the last few minutes. Next week, we'll have some more things said. But, sister, you take the last five minutes and just say what God is saying and close us in prayer. Okay. I appreciate it. Okay. Well, I just encourage you um, to uh, pay attention to your prayer wall. You mm -hmm. know, um, if you see that you can't get up and pray for two or three minutes, and there's some things in our spirit that needs to be checked. Yes. What's distracting us from praying? All right. What's what's keeping us from getting time with the Father? Mm -hmm. Could it be Facebook, binge watching oh, Netflix, Jesus. watching shows that we don't need to watch, <laughs> doing things that we don't need oh, to do? Just 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 those simple things that make mm -hmm. us um, unknowingly lazy or mm -hmm. unconsciously lazy mm -hmm. with. Uh, with other than spending time with the father mm -hmm. and encourage you you know get up an hour early mm -hmm. spend an hour 
with the Father. Yes, yes. Spend, spend time with quality Hallelujah. prayer. You know, asking him, Father, what do you want me to do mm-hmm, today? Mm-hmm. How do you want me to do this? You know, uh, David prayed and said, let the words of my mouth and the meditation right. of my heart be mm-hmm. acceptable mm-hmm. in thy sight, O oh Lord, yes. my strength and my redeemer. You know, sometimes, and a lot of mornings I get up and I say that, and I say that in the afternoon, and in the mm-hmm. early afternoon, Lord, let the words of my mouth <laughs> and the meditation of my heart be acceptable mm-hmm. to you. Yes. You know, and just communing with the Father. Mm-hmm. Because it. we've got a lot of work to do, and time is short. Yes. And if we're not on God's agenda and God's plan, then we're not partnering with Him. That's true. And then He's going he's gonna to find someone who's willing to partner with Him. That's true. To bring forth his kingdom because it's going to come forth. That's right. It's and it may as well be me if he wants to <laughs> use right. me to me help too. bring his yes, kingdom Lord. forth. So I highly encourage you. Keep a prayer journal. Write yes, down the yes. things that you've bought before the Father mm-hmm. and the things that the Father will say to you. Mm-hmm. Because he will speak to you. Yes, he will. Because conversations don't go just one way. If they All do... Right then we have a problem. <laughs> you know? But yes, just speak to the Father. Write down what he says. Mm-hmm. Write down. Those are memorial altars because we'll come back to those mm-hmm. and we'll need to be reminded, well, the Father said this, mm-hmm. so it's got to happen. Yes. So yes. I highly encourage you. And Sister Norma, thank, mm-hmm. you, thank you for allowing me this opportunity to come and share mm-hmm. With you too. Well, I thank God. I thank God for being obedient because, see, He gives me instruction mm-hmm. and I have to be obedient to it. Mm-hmm. And that's why I always tell individuals when they come on here, they need to be obedient to what God is saying to them. Yeah. I always allow people, what is God saying to you to bring to our community? Mm-hmm. You know? Yes. And you bring what God is saying to you, and you be obedient and don't hold mm-hmm. nothing back because yes. He has already spoken through me for you to be here. So, yeah. anyone out there, if you feel God is saying something to you to bring to our community, you all can call me 423 650 1937. Or you could contact the radio station anytime because we really want our community to be united. I have people lined up all through the summer, and I have um, so much God is downloading, and I need help. And that's mm-hmm. why I'm saying He's putting people. Because our community, I'm telling you, I can't, we can't, do, we have so many people. Mm-hmm. I'm connected to my yes. prayer group on Friday, my group at my church, my group on, uh, on prayer line, my intercessions. You know, and I feel that this is a kingdom work we're doing yes. here. And that's what we have to realize. This is not mm-hmm. one woman, one church, one denomination. This is a kingdom work. And that's why yes. we're bringing people together. And we're going to get off right now. If anything else, the Bible said, you know, it's close with the benediction. May the grace of our Lord... Yes. Bless us and keep us, Lord Jesus. I, I know so many graces. I don't know what you mm-hmm. said. Now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior <laughs> Jesus Christ be with us all until we meet again. God bless you, all of you on Facebook. And I'm going to tag this to her Facebook so yes. some of your people, because that's what we do. We connecting your yes. family, your friends, your Facebook. Everyone who come on you, they open their Facebook yes. or we tag because mm-hmm. we'll see the connection, the connection and what God is saying and what he's doing. And we yes. let God does the drawing on those who need Christ. I have to mm-hmm. go, you know, I'm, you know I'm a talker. Yeah. God bless you, Facebook. <laughs> bless WOPFM, you. have a good weekend.